Such a back there. Hey everybody, free here. You know, I just made a cup of coffee, but it's not just regular coffee. And let's uh, go through the process of finishing it off. So in the French press here, <clears throat> I also put a stragulus root and some cardamom pods along with the coffee on the bottom. And let that all steep together to get the good medicinal properties out of all that. Here in this lovely jar is some pine pollen and some honey that I gathered last year from my family. I'm just going to bust off a chunk of that. Put that in there. Delicious. Some heavy coconut cream. Get lots of those good fats in the coffee. A nice, big fat scoop. Boom. Put the lid back on this pine pollen. You like the great lighting? It's lit. It's not lit. It's fun watching all that stuff. Some ashwagandha powder. You know? Put all your medicines into the coffee. That well, seems like enough. I'm just gonna put it down so you can see how much I'm putting in there, but honestly, whatever you feel good about for yourself is <clears throat> what you should probably do. Unless you feel like your feeling senses are totally defunct and not working from you know the current modern age, in which case I totally get that. That was cinnamon. I was adding to it. Lord knows a little bit of cinnamon. I'm out of my mushroom blend right now, which is a shame. And the company that was making this like 14 different mushroom blend is no longer doing that. So this is some maca I'm putting in there. When I'm getting older, I keep my testosterone levels and everything that good. I mix all that up and uh, it's going to be great for the rest of the day. My afternoon coffee blast, energizing on this full moon night time thing. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the coffee.